Crown Teller is his most exciting hour of fantastic prizes. The fabulous 60 minute prize is raised. Patricia Medlin, come on down. Welcome to The Price is Right. Do you know what happened on this show just last Friday? Had a double showcase winner. One lady won almost $15,000 worth of prizes on this stage, on this network last Friday. Let's see what happens today. Here is the first item up for bids on The Price is Right. It's a freezer. Before that price freezer that features energy efficient trim wall insulation, lighted interior shelves for easy rotation, and access to foods, built in lock and safety signal light, it's from Kelvinator. And it will go to the one of you who bids nearest to the retail price without going over. Charlotte, what do you bid on that price? Six fifty. She bids six hundred and fifty dollars. Malcolm, what do you say? Three hundred and ninety-nine. He bids three hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Now, Diana, I want your bid. Four hundred and fifty. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred and fifty. Four hundred and fifty. Patricia. Four fifty-one. Four five one. The actual retail price is four hundred and ten dollars. Malcolm is winner number one on this show. Malcolm, you've done did it already. Right over here. Malcolm. To what do you attribute your superior bidding skill? After all, you left three ladies down there in contestants' row. Watching the prices right all the time. My boy, you have proven the wisdom of that. You have indeed. And Malcolm, since you watch all the time, I would indeed enjoy giving you this. A new car! A 1978 Nova hatchback for people who like a touch of wagon with the rear seat down. You get over six feet of lower and lots of load space. The rear seat up there is family roominess. The Nova by Chevrolet. It's equipped with an automatic transmission, roof drip molding, body side molding, door edge guards, sport mirrors, steel belted radial white stripe tires, bumper strips and guards, rally wheels, AM FM radio, and interior decor package. Okay, Bob? Let's go right out here beside it. Malcolm, where's your home? Where are you? Live. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And you're out here on a little vacation. Yeah. What sure. do you do back in Baton Rouge? Uh, I'm a chemical operator. What does a chemical operator do? Well, we take different uh, raw petroleum products and make them into other things. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah. Well, Malcolm, how would you like to take a ticket to The Price is Right and make it into the pink slip of this automobile? You, you bet. I'd, I'd like to see you do that, playing the Lucky Seven game right here on this board. There's seven $1 bills. When we finish this game, if you have even... No, there aren't seven. I'm glad you counted them. Here are three more. When we finish this game, if you have just one of those left, you can buy this car for that $1. How does that sound? Sounds fantastic. Now, I want you to tell me the first number and the price of the car. And if you're right, you keep all the money. But if you're wrong, you have to give me a dollar for every number you are away from the correct number. What's the first number? Four. Number four? Is he right? Show us, please. No, that'll cost you a dollar. What's the second number? Five. Number five, he says, the second number is also a five. No, Malcolm, that'll cost you four dollars. Okay. Four dollars. Now, I have five, so you only have two left. Now, you're going to have to improve. 
quickly. Yeah, quickly. Because you have two numbers to go, and you have to have one dollar to buy the car. Now, what's the next number in the price of the car? Uh, six. He says it's a six. Is it a six? Oh, Malcolm, you're broke. You are broke. Yes. But now listen. If you watch every day, you know that we have that big wheel on this show, don't we? Yes, sure do. And you know that that can result in $1,000 bills. It sure can. And it may for you, Malcolm. I'll see you a little later. Okay. <laughs> Out here from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, nice young color to start things off. We'll have another nice contestant after these words. Watch Game Show Network for a chance to win these prizes. Tools of the trade, cookware, flatware, and cutlery. Made from high-quality stainless steel and an autographed copy of the new Don DeLuise cookbook from Tools of the Trade. Tap into the potential of Zoob. Whether you're creating wild creatures or contraptions, DNA or dinosaurs, jewelry or spaceships, Zoob reveals how things connect the world around you. More than a toy, it's the first plastic life form. The Auric Lightweight Dual Speed Power Stick Room. Fast and convenient, ideal for kitchens, bathrooms, laundry, underbeds, and furniture. The wonderful cleanup from Auric. Johnny, I want you to fetch me another player, please. All right, Bob. How about Robert Spies? Well, come on down. You're the next contestant on the prize. Right. Robert Spies, the Robert Spies of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Here come Robert, and here is Robert. And I don't have to ask Robert anything about himself. It's all right there for the world to see on his mighty chest, actually on his stomach. It says, Lover. <laughs> Lover? Is that true, Robert? That's true. Yes? What have you ever done to prove that you are a great lover? Can't tell. Secret. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. I can tell you that this is the next item up for bids on our show. It's a mirrored screen. Mirrored panels and solid walnut frames that reflect the beauty of the surroundings and enlarge the area. It has many uses such as a room divider or as a background for some special piece of furniture. Huh? And the great lover will give me the first bid, please. Robert? $360. $360. Diana, what do you bid? Uh, let's go with $375. $375, and let's go to Patricia. $475. $475. Charlotte, give me your bid. $376. $376, and you have all overbid. The lowest bid is $360. Let's erase the bids, please. Lower than $360, Robert. $350. $350. Diana? Let's go with $210. She says $210, and Patricia, what do you say? $300. $300 even. Now, Charlotte, it's your turn. $275. $275. The actual retail price is $260, and Diana, you're the winner. Diana, get up here. What are you doing standing around out there, Diana? Trying to get up here. When you have a chance to win these. A secretary cabinet and today's lounge. Featuring the fabric, super soft construction, and stylized shirt base. A beautiful boudoir piece from the specialists of Cox Manufacturing Company. And second, a secretary cabinet. <laughs> to enhance any home, this charming decorator piece, a beautiful reproduction. Made of solid mahogany and burl veneer with a natural high gloss finish. Storage space for your curio pieces, plus storage space below the desk. Bob? And I have the clock game for you. Before we start playing the clock game, tell me about yourself, Diana. Where do you live? I live in Washington, D.C. And what do you do back there? I'm an assistant to a plastic surgeon. An assistant to a plastic surgeon? That's right. What do you think? Maybe just a little tuck right in here? I wouldn't touch a loving inch of it. <laughs> After a dear sweet comment like that, that fool is wearing the lover's shirt. You should have that on, Diana. Now, I am going to play the clock game with you, and I want you to win after saying such a sweet thing to me. First, you're going to bid on the chaise lounge, and only the chaise lounge. Now, do you know how to play this game? Sort of, but why don't you explain it? 
I'll be glad to. <laughs> You'll give me a bid, and I will say higher or lower, meaning the retail price of the Shays Lounge is higher or lower than your bid. Okay. And you will continue to do that and win the Shays Lounge just as quickly as you can. Mm -hmm. Then we'll forget the rest of the game and go over there on the just Shays Lounge home. together. <laughs> okay. Right. No, with the time remaining on your 30-second timer, you can bet on or bid on the secretary. Okay? okay? All right. Now, let's show everyone the price of the Shays Lounge. But do not shout it out, audience. Do not shout it out. Are you ready? I'm ready. So am I. <laughs> now, the clock will start with your first bid. Go. $3.99. Higher. Four seventy-five. Higher. Uh, five sixty. Lower. Five forty. Lower. Five twenty. Lower. Four eighty. Higher. Four ninety. Higher. Four ninety-nine. Higher. Five oh one. Higher. Five oh six. Higher. Five oh seven. Higher. Five oh eight. You got it, Diane. Higher. 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 Now you have about fifteen and a half seconds in which to win the secretary cabinet. Now, let me tell you this before we start. The secretary cabinet is more than $1,000. It is less than $2,000. So when you give me the bids, you can just bid in hundreds from $1,000 to $2,000. You understand? Correct. Okay. Now, let's show the price. And audience, you shocked me with your behavior. Do not shout any hires or lowers or any prices or any numbers as she's trying to win this secretary cabinet. The clock will start with your first bid. Go. Fifteen hundred. Higher. Sixteen hundred. Lower. Fifteen fifty. Lower. Fifteen forty nine. Lower. Fifteen forty. Lower. Fifteen thirty. Lower. Fifteen twenty. Lower. Fifteen ten. Higher. Fifteen fifteen. Higher. Fifteen sixteen. You got it. Fifteen sixteen it is, and look at that. Four seconds left. You are a player. You are a player, Diana, and a sweet girl too. Thank you. Assistant to a plastic surgeon. Just a little tough. No, probably not. We'll be back after this message. John, what is the name of our next player? The name Bob Barker is Claudia Walters. Come on down! Yo, there she is, right on the front row. There she is, the contestant's row. And there is the next item up for bids and the price is right. It's a wood-burning stove. The Moxie Heat One by Warm Glow converts from a fireplace into an efficient wood stove by closing the airtight door. Heats economically with wood and is a fireplace. Maxi Heat One by Warm Glow. Bidder number one is Claudia. Uh, three, three, three fifty nine. Three fifty nine. Patricia, give me your bid. Four hundred. Four hundred dollars. Charlotte, what is your bid? Four twenty five. Four hundred and twenty five. And now Roberto. Four twenty six. Four twenty six. The actual retail price, $4.95. Robert, you have won. Robert the Lover has won. And Robert is going to play a pricing game. And Robert, I am happy to inform you that in this pricing game, you just might win this prize. A platform bed. Bedroom, you're in a class by yourself. Covered in pure suede, the queen size bed with matching nightstands is completed with twin pillows and bedspread. Proof that comfort can also be beautiful. And it's a prize worth $1,999. Yes, indeedy. And you can win it playing the shell game. I have four shells here, and under one of these shells, there is a ball. All you have to do to win that prize is put a chip beside the shell under which we will find the ball. Take your place right there, will you please? I am moving those around just a bit to confuse you. Here are the chips. That, oh, you don't touch the chip. You have to win the chip. You can win it out here with these books. Listen. From popular library featuring Sweet Golden Sun, a great romantic epic of a woman's fierce struggle for love in the untamed West. And the price here is $32. That's wrong. Is the right price higher or lower? It's lower. It's lower. Is he a winner? He's a winner. Now you may touch the chip. Put it by one of the shelves. Very good. Johnny, what's next? La Machine by Moulinex, the incredible food preparation system from France. It's like having a professional chef right at your side. Here, the wrong price for your consideration is $110. Is the right price higher or lower? It's higher. It's higher. Is it? 
It is higher. He gets another tip. There you are. Johnny, we want to hear about the next prize. Prune your own trees quickly and safely with a snap cut tree pruner. Pruner and saw blade coated with Teflon as for easier, cleaner cutting. Janice, we want to see the next price. $35. Is the right price higher or lower than $35? That's higher. Higher? Is he right again? No, it's lower this time. We have one more prize, and what is it, John? A 45-piece dinnerware service from Aristan. Durable, attractive, contemporary, mellow mind, a complete indoor-outdoor dinnerware set by Artisan. Here it is priced at $50. Is the right price higher or lower than $50? It's lower. Lower? Does he get this? Yes, he does, and he gets another chip, too. There you are. Where do you want to put that? There. Clear down there. All right. How would it be if we just ignore this shell altogether? Come right back over here now. We'll ignore that one because if it's there, you lose. Let's just start here and see if you're a winner. All right. Okay. No, he's not a winner with that one. Is he a winner with that one? No, he's not a winner with that. Now it's down to this one. You win or lose with it. You win with that one. There's that ball. There ain't nothing under that shell. Robert, thank you. Congratulations. We are going to have the first showcase showdown of this show after we have this message. We have Big Malcolm here from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We have sweet little Diana here from Washington, D.C. And we have Robert from... Eagle Rock, Los from Angeles. From Eagle Rock, right out here in Los Angeles. Now, Malcolm, when you spin this wheel, if you get one dollar on it, you will go back to Baton Rouge with a thousand dollars from Price is Right. Step over there and try to do exactly that. Oh, the wheel might not survive. Poor Diana and Robert will have no wheel to spin. It will have been spun out when you get through, Malcolm. If you are nearest to one dollar without going over, you're in the showcase. If you go over one dollar in two spins, you're out of the game. However, you have only 20 cents. Do you wish to spin again? Yeah. I certainly think you should. 20 cents in his first spin. Here is spin number two for Malcolm. He'd like to have 80 cents show up on that wheel. There it is, and there it went. 20 cents plus 70 would be good. Well, 65, 45 and 20, 65 cents total. Malcolm is the leader with 65 cents. And here comes my plastic surgeon's assistant from Washington, D.C. to spin. Go. Has to go all the way around at least once to qualify. Now, will it make it? It started on 45 cents, and it is going to make it. Maybe 70 cents. You have 70 cents. Now, that beats Malcolm. Is that enough for you? If you go over in two spins, if you go over one dollar, you're out of the game. You understand that? I'll stop. You're going to stop. I don't blame you. I think 70 cents is a pretty good score. Now, Robert, get over here. Remember, the eyes of Eagle Rock are on you. Spin that wheel. How long have you lived in Eagle Rock? About uh, 20 years. Well, then you know a lot of folks in Eagle Rock who are watching you right now, right? All right. Can you see me get a one? You have to beat 70 cents, and it looks to me as if you might tie it. You've tied it. You want to have a spin-off? Or do you want to spin again? Uh, we better have a spin-off. Step right over here. Okay. Diana, my child, come back to me. Spin that wheel again. Here is Diana in the spin-off. She gets only one spin, but if she gets a dollar, she wins a thousand dollars. Diana has spun that wheel. That wheel is going around and slowing down on a bar. Are you going to get 70 cents again? You are in a rut. There you are. Back you go. All right, Robert, get over here. If you spin 70 cents one more time, I'm going to have this wheel investigated. Spin it. That's three seventies in a row. We should be in Las Vegas with all these sevens. Seventy cents is what you have to beat, or Diana is right in the middle of the showcase at the end of the show. Robert, things are not looking too good. No, sixty-five cents. Thank you, Robert. Okay, Diana, you have won your way into the showcase. The showcase will follow. Some more games will play after these words. What's up at Game Show Network? My goodness, Marlon Brando, Warren Beatty, Barbara Streisand, and a long line of stars are all headed this way. On April 19th, get ready to play.
It's been 25 years with the most interesting couples I have ever seen. There were times when I was amazed at the things some of these folks said. It was an accident. There were moments when I was actually close to losing. I'll never forget those newlyweds. If you've ever wondered what happened to them all, tune in for an anniversary special that reunites us with the most famous newlyweds in television history. This is one anniversary event you won't want to miss. Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Who's next, Johnny? Who's next? Who's next, Johnny? Bob, it's Suzette Wade. Come on down. You're the next contestant on the Price is Right. Suzette, if you should become a winner, I do not want you to jump around the whole lot. <laughs> or we could have a repeat of a performance that we had here a few months ago. I want you to concentrate on the next item up for bids on this show. A set of luggage. Sunstars, three spirits luggage, a brand new breathed bag, multi-pocketed and zippered, belted and buckled baggage, ready to go from Sunstar. Suzette, what do you wish to bid on that? <laughs> Give me your bid, Suzette. 350. 350. Claudia? 230. 230, Patricia. 400. 400 Charlotte. 340. 340 dollars. The actual retail price is $349, and Charlotte... Come on, Charlotte. I want to take you over here to this price tag. Here you are. Oh, Charlotte's all excited. Charlotte's all excited, and Charlotte just might win this. A dinette set. A crystal clear glass table with one leaf sits on a polished chrome base. The four elegant side chairs and two armchairs are covered in a 100% cotton velvet and Windermere gold. Contemporary and classy. Now, Charlotte, in the squeeze play game, all you have to do is take out the number that should not be in the price of the prize. The remaining numbers squeeze together, and if you are right, you win the prize. Now, the one is where it belongs. The three should be right there. But the two, the nine, or the five should go. Which one? The nine. The nine, and it went. Now it squeezes together at $1,253. And if indeed that is the price of that prize, you win a $1,253 prize. The actual retail price of that prize is... Uh, $1,253. Yes, yes. She has won and she has become entangled in my microphone cord. So with her in my arms, I will announce there is more prices right coming up. Stay tuned for more pricing games and the fabulous showcase is coming up on the second half of The Price is Right. On Game Show Network, anyone can win terrific prizes like this. If you've been thinking about a Hawaii getaway, stop dreaming and start packing. Since 1959, Pleasant Hawaiian Holidays has been offering the best travel values to the islands. Call any travel agent today. Pleasant Hawaiian Holidays. The name of our next player is... Jeannie Breslin. Come on now. Oh, 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 look at oh, this. Oh, Got another leaper here. Got another leaper here. I want you to know right now, Jeannie, I don't want you anywhere near my feet when you're doing that. Not for a moment. But I do want you to know that this is the next item up for bids on our show. It's a sewing machine. The white First Lady convertible open arm sewing machine with the amazing no hands one step button holder and 26 built in utility stretch and embroidery stitches from White Sewing Machine Company. And Leaping Genie will bid first. $175. She bids $175 and Suzette says. $350. $350. Claudia, give me your bid. $270. $270. Patricia, you have been down here forever. Are you ever going to get out of contestants row? What is your I bid? I hope so. $450. $450. The actual retail price, 
contestants throw just in time to win this prize. Appliances! Kitchen! A Catlin electric kitchen, which includes the big side-by-side -side three-door refrigerator freezer, and the practical work-saving built-in dishwasher, and the complete cooking center, featuring a full-size microwave oven at the top, and a self-cleaning oven below by Tappan. It's a prize package worth $2,439. And you can win all of those beautiful appliances in the hurdles game. I'll bet you know how to play the hurdles game, don't you? I'm a runner. Are you <laughs> a runner? I'm not a shopper. Were, were you, uh, did you run hurdles in school? Yes, I did. Did you really? Well, maybe we should let you run the hurdles instead of this guy. All right. I'd like to, but I can't do that. I will, I will, I will give you those if he gets over all three hurdles. Johnny, what do you know about him? Sally Hansen Nail Care Products featuring hardest nails with nylon regular clear polish, America's number one nail protection by Sally Hansen. Now, the rules of our hurdles race here uh, are a little different than the rules of the hurdles you ran, probably. You see, he's 79 cents. Now, there are two products here at this first hurdle, and he'll get over that hurdle if you can choose the one that is less than 79 cents. Now, Johnny, tell her about both, will you please? Right, Bob. 20 mule power industrial strength bathroom cleaner used weekly at wipes out soap scum, hard water scale, and black mildew stains in the bathroom, kitchen, and laundry room. And golden dip. Quality meat, seafood, and chicken deserve this fine breading, not flour or leftover crumbs to bake or fry. Golden dip. Now, which one of those is less than 79 cents? Seafood. Okay, I'll mark the seafood, and Johnny, you tell her about the next turtle, please. ST sugar free wafers, candies, desserts, locale treats that taste so devilishly good you'll think you were bad. Locale sugar free treats from ST and Chunky. However, you like chocolate, four delicious family sized bars breaks into 24 thick bite sized pieces. Chunky, thicker of chocolate. Which one of those is less than 79 cents? Chunky. The Chunky? Johnny, what will we find at the last hurdle? We have buttermilk jumbo waffles from Downy Flake that give you a hearty breakfast that's quick and easy. You get a breakfast break with Downy Flake. And from the Irwin Willard Company, Eno's Air Freshener, solid sachet, spring bouquet fragrance to freshen any room in the house. One of those is less than 79 cents. Which one is it? The waffles. Very well. I shall put a pennant by the waffles. There we are. Now, I shall return to the starting line, and since you are once a hurdler yourself, I will give you the privilege of firing the starter's pistol <laughs> if you wish. Hold it out there. On your mark. Get set. Oh, she frightened herself. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's getting... I thought it was a lower hurdle. This is a high hurdle. Oh, tell it. Oh, oh. He got over that first hurdle. Boy, that second hurdle's coming up there, though, isn't it? Look at this. Oh, look out! 89 cents, and he ran right into the hurdle. Patricia, thank you for being on this thank show. Thank you. Bye-bye. Boy, she didn't want those hurdles to come up there like that, did she? We'll be back with another pricing game for you. Right now, these words. I have three little goyles down here in Contestants Row. Johnny, do you have another goyle for me or a guy? Got a goy, Bob. Stanley Green, come on down. You're the next contestant on the road. Right, Stanley on the high road. <laughs> Stanley, you want to play a game? Stanley, a gentleman wouldn't come in there and push little Jeannie aside like that. I couldn't help it. She was welcoming me. What, make, what makes you think that you belong there? Get away from there. That's Jeannie's spot. <laughs> oh. Yes, that's better, Stanley. <laughs> now, Stanley, where do you live? Florida. And what brings you out to California? Out of vacation with your, my wife. Is this your first trip out here? No, my second trip. Well, you must have liked it or you I would not sure have come did. back. What do you like most about California? Well, we, uh, we take in television shows. You like to come to the shows? Oh, definitely. Most of all, which one do you like? Bob Barker. There <laughs> you are, Stanley. I didn't mean which individual did you like, but I, I appreciate the fact that you like me, but you like Price is Right. Definitely. No and you've been watching it. Price is Right. Sure have. And wouldn't you like to tell Johnny what we want now? A car is... <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe that's what we have and maybe not. Show us what we do have and Johnny tell us about it. 
It's a stereo chair. Well, listening environment, you love the way it sounds. The music within an environment undisturbed by outside interference. Stereo chamber and ottoman by listening environments. Now, Stanley, I am going to give you an opportunity to give me the first bid on that chair. What's it going to be? Four fifty. Four hundred and fifty dollars. Jeannie, what do you bid? Eight hundred dollars. She bids three hundred dollars. Eight. She bids eight hundred dollars. Suzette, what do you bid? Suzette, what is your bid? Five hundred. Five hundred dollars. Claudia, what is your bid? Seven seventy-five. Seven hundred and seventy-five dollars. And the actual retail price of that chair is five hundred and ninety-five dollars. Suzette has won that chair. Suzette has won that chair. And Suzette, take your place right here. Suzette, I have something that I think you would love to win on our show. You would indeed love to win that, wouldn't you? A new car! Concord DL four-door sedan by AMC. Offering comfort, convenience, and styling such as Landau roof, colored keyed wheel covers, individual reclining seats, all standard. This one also includes white stripe radial tires, Ford's aluminum wheels, protection group, AM FM stereo, and gauge package. Bob? Now, what I want you to do is to pick out the first two numbers and the last two numbers in the price of that car. Suzette? When I take the numbers off, if I find a picture of the front of the car, it goes there. If I find a picture of the back of the car, it goes there. That is what we're looking for. Pictures of cars, I mean. However, if I find a dollar sign, you win that much money. And we put those over here. Now, if you fill those four spaces first, that's what you win, money. But if you get the front of the car and the back of the car before you fill those four spaces, that car is yours. Now. Choose two numbers you believe we'll find in the price of that car. 72. 72. She wants to start with 72, ladies and gentlemen, and she has $72 for that. Now what? F 55. 55 right over here and behind. Who's saying no? No! saying no. And look what this is. Now, Suzette, many, many, many contestants get the first two numbers in the price of the car and then have trouble finding the last two. These are the last two numbers in the price of that car. Now, all you need are the first two numbers and you win the car. What are the first two numbers in the price of the car? 45. 45. Does she win the car? She wins the car. And she gets $72 to buy gasoline. That car is $4,555. And Suzette, you have won that car. Yes. Congratulations, Suzette. Oh, and she got the last two numbers in the price of that car first. It would have been terrible if she hadn't won that car. Now we're ready for the second showcase showdown. And I hope you are. We're going to have it after this. Which one of your favorite game shows is coming back to Game Show Network? Well, to tell the truth, it's a surprise. On April 18th, get ready to play. Suzette, you have just won a beautiful new automobile. I have never won anything to even compare with that. How does it feel? How do you feel right now? Great. Do you? <laughs> yeah. What was the biggest prize you'd ever won before you won that car? Nothing. You had never won anything? Never. I've never won anything. And you've been sitting there at home watching people win prizes on Price is Right. Right. And you thought, if I could just get down there and win myself a car. Yes. <laughs> and you've done it. I know. <laughs> and you have done it. It is your car. And not only that, Suzette, if you can get one dollar on this wheel in one spin or a combination of two spins, you're going to win a thousand dollars to go with your new car. That's what can happen to Suzette. Now, Charlotte, you too can win a thousand dollars. And if you're in the showcase, and you might be, you might win a car too. How does that sound? so you do 
Did you come to the show hoping you'd win a car? Yes. Did you? Mm -hmm. Of all the things you could win, what would you like most? A car. A car? Yeah. What's the biggest thing you ever won? Nothing. Nothing in your whole life? Poor baby. And now you have a chance to win a thousand dollars. I know. What are you going to do with it if you win a thousand dollars? Put it on the car. <laughs> okay. Now, Patricia. I'm going to give you a chance to win the first $1,000 bill. Are you ready? I'm ready. Be sure that thing goes all the way around at least once or you'll have to spin it again. Go! <laughs> Patricia, talk to that hurdler. Let me hear you talk to that wheel. She's threatening the wheel. Don't touch the wheel. Don't touch it. Oh, that's a bad number. You know why? Now you're probably going to spin again, or if you don't, one of them may well beat you. If you spin again, you may go over. It is your dilemma. What are you going to do? Spin again. Go ahead. That's what I'd do. I'd never stand on 50 cents with these two just lurking in the bushes over here. 50 cents in her first spin. This is her second spin. If she gets 35 cents, she's in good shape. If she gets 40 cents, she's in better shape. 20. That's all right. 70 cents. I've had winners with less than 70 cents. There you are. Now, here comes little Charlotte, who has never won anything. Well, you've won some prizes on our show already. Now, go ahead and spin that wheel. Got to beat 70 cents, Charlotte, to get into the showcase. And you still might not get in, even if you beat 70 cents, because Suzette's back here to spin. But you've got to beat 70 cents to stay in the game. And you did it. And watch the foot, watch the foot. Oh, did you see that jump? I wasn't ready for it. She, I'll tell you, this girl has the fastest jump in the West. A while ago, she was leaping about, and I told the audience I was so glad my foot wasn't under, and she almost got me that time. She almost got me. Ooh, those thick soles, too. Just hurts to think about it. Are you ready now to try to beat 75 cents? Yes. Get over there, Suzette. Suzette's won a car, Suzette wants a thousand dollars, and Suzette is spinning the big wheel. Suzette. Here comes 90 cents. And it's five cents. One nickel. Spin it again. Suzette is still alive over there with 75 cents. I mean, Charlotte is still alive with 75 cents. Suzette is spinning. She has a nickel. If she gets 95 cents, she wins $1,000. with 75 you won i'm not getting too close because i can't tell when she's going to jump and when she takes off i want to be over here now you're going to be in the showcase charlotte but right now we have this message i'm having a most interesting discussion with diana is that true i said diana are you married or single and she said that she is divorced that she is allergic to marriage that you you had hives you say i break out in hives at the word <laughs> of marriage well, I think that uh, could present a terrible problem, Diana. I do indeed. Now, over here, you're the top winner. Over here is the runner-up, Charlotte. Each of you will have a showcase of beautiful prizes to bid on. One of you who bids closest to the retail price, closer, that is, to the retail price of your own showcase without going over will win all the prizes in the showcase. But if you are the winner and you are less than $100 away from the retail price of your own showcase, then you will win everything in both showcases. And Diana, after you see this first showcase, if you wish, you may bid on it. If you prefer, you may pass it to Charlotte and wait for showcase number two. Do you have a question, Charlotte? No. Do you have a question, Diana? No. Then here is the first showcase. Your showcase begins with this new bar set. A bar and stool from Riverside's Great Hill Road collection, complete with a nostalgic design pub mirror. The bar has inlaid marble top, lighted display area, handcrafted leaded glass from Riverside Furniture Corporation. And you can relax in your new living room. Oh. A living room group from Fame Furniture, a quality leader of assembly yourself furniture. 
Possess a styling, comfort, and quality with new high standards for furniture that hooks together without tools. Fame Furniture. And for under all this lovely furniture, there's 30 square yards of Sincerely Yours, a luxurious nylon plush carpet with an elegant self-toned understated design. Beautiful yet durable quality carpeting for your home from Laurel Crest. And for fine family entertainments, this player piano. It's Cabaret from the Aeolian Corporation. Play it manually or it will play for you electrically. It's a whole bunch of musical fun, the Cabaret Player Piano by Aeolian. And this showcase can be yours if the price is right. Diana, do you wish to bid or do you wish to pass? I only get one choice, right? Well, if you bid on this one, of course, then the next showcase belongs to Charlotte. But if you pass this one to Charlotte, you get the next showcase. Oh, I love player pianos. Does that mean you're going to bid? <laughs> that means I'm going to bid. And what do you bid, Diana? $5,800. $5,800 is her bid on this showcase. And now, Charlotte, this is your showcase. Your showcase is a salute to that great entertainer, director John Houston. And contains sizes associated with some of his most famous films. And who could forget this one? Humphrey Bogart, a Sam Spade in the Maltese Falcon, a film that took place in the city you'll be going to, San Francisco. We'll fly to as your round trip air coach from Los Angeles to San Francisco for a six-night stay at the Sir Francis Drake Hotel, located just off Union Square in the heart of glamorous San Francisco. Come fall in love with this Princess Hotel, the convenient and traditional Sir Francis Drake. John Houston's father, Walter, won an Oscar, as did Houston himself for this next film, Treasure of Sierra Madre, a study in greed in which three down-and-out prospectors strike it rich in Mexico! From San Francisco, you'll fly on to Mexico City for another exciting week at a beautiful Mexico City hotel. You'll enjoy lovely accommodations and gracious services, and you'll be located in the heart of Mexico City shopping and restaurant zone. Houston switched both mood and locale when he directed this film, Moulin Rouge, the story of artist Henri toulouse lautrec and his melancholy wanderings through the bright and dark side of Paris! Yes, it's on to Paris, France, for one week. The exciting Paris Sheraton with a view of Notre Dame, Arc de Triomphe, and other sites of the City of Light. The Paris Sheraton is located in picturesque Montparnasse, renowned for its artist colony and romantic traditions. Well, it's tough to pick the single greatest John Houston film, but the one that features an itinerant river rat and a prissy missionary hauling an old boat through Africa would get plenty of votes. Yes, it's the African Queen, and in that film's honor, we offer you not an old, but a spanking new boat! <laughs> Barnacle Road presents the Avenger Ski Boat, 16 feet, 7 inches of fun, speed, and excitement. With bucket seats, marine shag carpeting, mechanical steering, and positive flotation from Barnacle Bills. And to power your new boat, the Mercury 1150, a 115 horsepower engine with Thunderbolt ignition for quick, easy starting, built with rugged dependability by Mercury Marine. And you can trailer your boat on the American trailer. Rugged structural steel provides maximum support and safety on the highways from the American Trailer and Manufacturing Company. And this showcase, a salute to that great entertainer, director John Houston. Can be yours if the price is right. What's your bid, Charlotte? Six thousand five hundred. Her bid is six thousand five hundred dollars, and the actual retail price of her showcase is nine thousand nine hundred seventy. A difference of three thousand four hundred and seventy dollars. Diana's bid is five thousand eight hundred, and Diana, the actual retail price of your showcase is five thousand one ninety-eight. Charlotte wins. Charlotte won the showcase. Goodbye, everybody. This 
Mr. Guy Olsen speaking, for the price is right. A Mark Woodson, Bill Trotman production. Stay tuned for Love of Life, next to the most of these CBS stations.